Okay, so it's beach ride day. Heading on down now. It's real late, so it's probably gonna be real crowded. But, um, I'm gonna get in there and see if I can't get a good ride in today. I haven't been out there in a while. Because school and work and all that get in the way. But we're gonna hit the marina and get in a good 20 plus mile ride in today I'll show you guys you know the strand and where I typically like to ride there aren't too many places to ride around here where I live especially sucks because you, you, you can probably see back there people love to park in the bike lanes and people buzz you all the time so I try not to ride in the neighborhood because I like living, so I hit the beach. So the reason I'm so late getting to the beach is because it took me forever, I mean it took me over an hour to try and figure out a good way to mount this camera somewhere on my body or somewhere on my bike. And the first thing I tried to do was mount it to, the helmet, to my helmet. Because when I bought this camera, it came with a couple of helmet accessories. It came with like a, a flat sticky pad, a curved sticky pad, and then um, a little strap system that you, you hook up to your helmet. So I tried that. Uh, I tried to attach it to the side of the helmet with the, the straps, and it was pulling on the side of my helmet. I guess even though this camera doesn't weigh very much at all, it's, it's still enough to pull on my helmet. So that didn't work, and then when I tried to attach it to the top, it was just way too high in the air, and I didn't like the way it was gonna look. So that didn't work. And then I tried to get it onto my handlebars, but on my bike, I have a base bar that's, that's kind of wing-shaped, and I don't want to use the sticky attachment because I don't want it permanently attached. That handlebar is not gonna be on my bike forever, so I didn't want to put it on there and then have to figure out how to get it off later. So that wouldn't work. So I tried to use the strap again and uh, the way the wing is, it kind of points up in the air. So you wouldn't really have gotten a good view anyway. So that didn't work. And then finally, I, uh, I noticed that my mounting system for my water bottle has a slot for you to, to, to adjust where the water bottle sits. And there's one at the very front. And the screw for the tripod, which I ended up using, was just a hair too big. So I got a, a circular file and I, I filed it out until the screw was able to fit. And so now the camera is gonna be right at the, the nose of the bike, which is pretty much exactly where I wanted it. It gives you a a perfect view of uh, what I'm gonna see and, and um, a good view of the road so that's essentially why I'm so amazingly late I mean when you get here after 10 o'clock even heck if you get there after 9 people have already crowded the bike path and, and crowded the beach so you know I'm gonna have to be extra careful out there on the streets and out there on the uh, on the strand even though it's a separated bike path because there's going to be a lot of slow riders in there and um, that's going to take a little bit of maneuvering so I'll see you when I get there okay so I'm here it's actually not as crowded as I thought it would be but people are still coming so uh, I could just be wrong about how crowded it is. It probably could be more crowded than I think. Um, I mean, the underground structure. Sometimes I park at this church on the top of the hill, but I didn't today for two reasons. One, it would require riding up a really steep hill at the very end of my ride, which some of you might be thinking, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. But today I'm lazy and I'm having a knee problem, so I don't want to do that. So I'm going to skip that hill. And two, uh, I'm not going to church, and it just seems to me a little uh, irre irreverent 
to do something like that, especially considering that people who are going to church probably need those spots, so I'm gonna skip church.
All right, so we made it to the south side of the marina. We're about halfway done with our ride. We're gonna head back after this. Just wanna show you some of it. You can see some of the people out there on boats and then the breakwater and the course, beautiful Pacific. I don't know what happened with the bridge here. I guess maybe somebody jumped or fell off, but there didn't used to be these gates here. So I'm kind of off to the side, so you guys can have at least a mildly clear view. Uh, if the camera was shaking, I apologize, but some parts of the ride are a little bumpy. So I'm gonna take a break for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna head back. So uh, I'm back home. Somewhere during the course of the ride, apparently my battery died. Um, I didn't notice, of course, because I was riding. Uh, I should have taken the other battery with me. So I don't know where exactly it cut off, but it cut off somewhere on the way back. Um, just as well, because uh, when I got to the bridge, I noticed the inside of the case had fogged up pretty good. So I probably need to get some of those anti-fog sheets. So, um, yeah, I, I lost the first or the second half of that ride. Um, anyway, so that was it. At least you saw the first half, so you know, you know, where I kind of ride now. Um, if you're in the Torrance or Gardena, Carson, Long Beach area, and you want to ride, hit me up, let me know. Uh, you can just leave a comment below. That's pretty much it. Uh, just hit me up. Uh, I don't leave anyone behind, so, you know, I won't drop you if you won't drop me. Uh, it's not a race. Just, you know, for fun. Like I said, leave a comment below, subscribe, like if you like it, uh, and that's pretty much it.